Got him. Right there. That's feeling right. Oh, no. Here we go. Feeling like a better one. Look at that. Oh, we got off of the hole. Scoop him up. Oh, we got him. Running around, fishing very aggressively, and hunting down big fish like that. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. It is a blustery, cold, windy day out here, walleye fishing today. And it's actually about three o'clock, 3.30, something like that, in the afternoon now. And uh, we've kind of been fishing for most of the day, actually all the day now. And it's one of those days where it feels like we're waiting for the evening window. It's me, we got good buddy Hayes in the shack. Maybe we'll wander in there real quick to get out of the wind. But uh, marking piles of fish. Less bites than I would like to see out of this many fish. Hey, come on in. She's breezy out there. That's a little Give me a quick recap on how it's gone so far. And a recap, we woke up at 3.30 this morning, drove a little while, got here around, not a little before sunup. Made a long ride out, and we've just been picking away at these fish all day. We've been sitting on a really solid group of fish, dropped some big ones. They're biting finicky, but we're just sticking it out for that last hour, that, that prime time. And we're marking piles of fish, and it's gonna be one of those class days. Got a big front today, and I don't know if it's just kind of negatively affecting the fish. I mean, it must be, because yesterday they seemed very bitey. Today, marking absolute piles of them. Piles. Piles, piles of fish piles. and it definitely feels like it's going to be that evening window bite so we're going to kind of grind hard the next hour and a half two hours or so here um till the sun goes all the way down because a lot of times on these more tough days our fish are just kind of a little bit neutral or negative it's that first light and last light window that can really make the day so stay tuned we'll go into a little bit about what we're doing Hayes might fish in here a little bit he might hole hop a little bit i'll probably be mostly hole hopping brutal outside so we're gonna do the absolute best we can to kind of film it cameras don't like to work on this kind of stuff so um put up with maybe the poor sound quality and uh more shaky footage than normal from this channel but stay tuned i'm gonna start hole hopping hayes is gonna be in the shack a little evening window walleye fishing all right guys we're gonna be hole hopping around with a couple different baits this afternoon one kind of vertical bait and one kind of horizontal glidey bait. And uh, one we're gonna be fishing, Acme Hyper Rattle in the purple and gold. Absolutely love that color, especially in clear water. And then this is kind of obviously that more glidey, twitchy, horizontal moving bait. A little bit more aggressive overall. No need to tip that with any bait. Fishing that on a 42 medium fast Elliott Evolution Series rod. I'll link this stuff down below. If you guys wanna check out baits or rods or anything. The other one which you guys saw me catch a ton of fish on in the last video, um, the Acme DR, which stands for Drop Rate Tungsten Spoon, and kind of this pink purple color. Wonder Bread was really good. Got this rigged on my favorite spoon rod, which is Elliott Evolution 44 Lite. And uh, now we go to work. We're just going to kind of run through a bunch of these holes and uh, see what we can do kind of towards the end of the day here. just texting oh baby ho oh, hey now that's a little nicer fish a little nicer fish here I was just texting my buddy he was giving me the major and minor times and we're just coming into a minor right now literally as he as he said that to me this fish came up and and boink me these fish have been really really Oh, I don't know what the good word would be for it. Uh, finic yeah, finicky would be a good word. Look at that. Oh, we got off in the hole. Scoop him up. Oh, we got him. Got off in the hole. The fish, like I was saying, the fish have been very finicky. About a nice, yeah, 20. This fat belly to a beautiful Minnesota walleye. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a treat to come out here with Tom, honestly. The lakes back home are are pretty ugly and the, the fishing has been uh, the fishing's been matching the ice ugly. 
So uh, it was nice to come out here with with Tom today and get on these fish. Couldn't tell you what that's called. I apologize, Acme, but uh, that's what he came on. It's fish number three today, but uh, like I said, just been finicky. We're just entering a minor. Thank you, Tony, for telling me the major and minors quick. And just caught that nice Minnesota golden walleye. Got him. Right there. That's feeling right. That's feeling right. Doing a little fishing right off the snowmobile. When this guy decided to fly up and bite. <laughs> Moving hole to hole real fast. What do we got? Oh man, he is really angry right here all of a sudden. Very angry. It's gonna be a really nice fish. Oh dude, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Look at that right there, man. Spoon popped right out. Barely had time to flip that GoPro on before that guy came up and absolutely crushed. Dude, look at that fish. End of the day. Big fat walleyes on the jig rod. How are you going to beat it right there? How are you going to beat that at all? That is too much fun. And if I had one way to ice fish, it'd be this. Drilling out big grids on big structure, running around, fishing very aggressively. And for hunting down big fish like that, that is what it's about right there, man. Absolutely love it. My favorite thing to do through the ice, with possibly the exception of lake trout. See you later, big mama. Back for more. Back for more. That spoon right there. That is the DR series. Castmaster, which stands for drop rate, fully tungsten spoon, which is so nice for fishing this way, obviously, because we're fishing some deeper water. And just being able to fire this thing down there real fast and aggressive, work it real fast, get that thing hopping, have a lot of good feel on the rod, makes it pretty much uh, one of my absolute favorites for fishing deep like this. The other one would be Acme Hyper Rattle, because it's another very heavy kind of bait that punches through slush or ice you might have in the hole, shoots down, can be fished aggressively, draws a lot of attention. But there we go, another nice walleye on the ice. Got him. Right there. Fish on. Man, why is the rod doing that? Unless we got a Tulabi or a Cisco here. Which we definitely might. Oh, that's why. Hello, big perch. <laughs> that is a jumbo jumbo, dude. Wow. Well, there we go. I was so confused it had the weight of a walleye but uh monster perch dude i mean this is this is a, a freak perch right here big boy look at that they don't get much bigger than that in a lot of these lakes wow dude and that okay, look at the size of my hand in comparison to that thing jumbo perch man right there oh we'll get you back in though i wonder if some of these are perch some of these other big marks i mean look at that on my hand that is a big one, dude. Big perch right there. Wow, let's let that guy go. Back down to the bottom. Marking quite a few marks. Not getting them all to bite, but uh, that one fired up a bit. Big jumbo perch. I wonder if some of these other marks aren't perch. Some of them are big, you can tell they're walleye marks, but some of these little bit smaller kind of eater size walleye marks that aren't biting. Maybe we're in the jumbos. Fish on, right there. Feeling all right, feeling all right. Just moved holes over here. Just moved to the next spot. That fish actually came in real high in the water column. Come here, buddy, where are you at? Oh yeah, real nice walleye, real nice walleye. There we go, look at that one. That's what I'm talking about, right there. Doing the old hole hop and run and gun approach. That one came in actually way up high in the water column. And anytime you see a fish fly through way up high like that, it's a high likelihood 
he's gonna bite as long as you can kind of get a bait in front of him that is exactly what we're after right there some nice perch some nice walleyes today so far getting it started right let's let that guy go and uh when we kind of settled on for the day it seems to be that guy right there but we'll fire it right back down because a lot of times there's when you're doing this whole hop and run and gun you'll stumble across a few of them kind of in a in a tighter area and obviously anytime you can be in the school definitely a good thing Crazy wind, huh? Yeah. Uh oh, a little wrapped up. There we go. <laughs> he snatched it. There he is. Another nice northern Minnesota. I guess we're not in really northern Minnesota, but close enough. I don't know if you guys can hear Hayes at all, but uh, just doing some hole hopping. <laughs> Bouncing back and forth between holes and getting a few to fire up. The hyper rattle came up and crushed it. We're going to get it back. It's windy, cold, so he doesn't freeze. Nice fish. Do it again. Hayes is using the blue one. Just walloped it. Hit it good. He wanted it. So we got a little purple and a little blue out. Give me some. All right, guys, as I'm sitting here editing this video, I realized I kind of forgot to do some like the connecting points, do a little bit of explanation on what we're doing. So we're obviously out doing some hole hopping, run and gun walleye fishing on a very cold, very windy day um, in Minnesota. And uh, this style of fishing, I absolutely love it. You're kind of just really actively moving around your outside. It's like you versus the elements outside. You're hole hopping all day long, run and gun style fishing. Absolutely my favorite type of fishing to do on the ice. And Basically what we're doing, we're getting, we're pulling up to large pieces of deeper water structure and we're creating just this massive grid system of holes to work through. If you can imagine you're set up on a really big, a really big flat, a lot of times on these flats fish never sit still. It's not like this kind of small rock hump where if the fish are on it, they're right here and then the basin's right here. These are really big spots or the fish are very nomadic around them. So I'm drilling out this big, big grid system, maybe you catch them here for a little bit. Maybe you, me and Hayes go one, two, three fish right here in this smaller area of 10 holes. And then we just, it kind of slows down and we start working through this big grid and I'm over here and Hayes is over here. I start catching a couple fish and marking a bunch. Hayes comes over here, we catch a couple more here. It's kind of this constant system of following fish around a bigger spot. And if you totally lose them, then go to the next spot and grid that spot out. It's a lot of work and it's like you versus the elements and you versus the fish. And I absolutely love this kind of aggressive style of fishing. I don't get to film it that much because a lot of times it's so difficult to run good to get decent footage outside. So I almost try my hardest to have a couple cameras on me and some audio solution. Very difficult um, to get a lot of times the audio and the video on these kind of deals. But this is essentially what we're doing today. Running and gunning, covering a bunch of big spots, aggressively hole hopping, working through those areas and uh, hoping to kind of land on the fish and make them bite. Fish on. Right there. Just getting things going this afternoon. In the big wind here. Feels like a good fish. That fish hit a Acme Hyper Rattle. The issue here is gonna be our hole is kind of frozen up. Feels like a real good one though. Another day where it's gonna be rough running cameras outside. Everybody, all right, we're in leader. Where are you at? <laughs> oh man, super nice fish. Bait is gone. Bait is absolutely gone. There we go. <laughs> look at that. And look how he ate that hyper rattle. Out of sight, dude. Absolutely demolished that thing. There we go. Look at that guy. Only got one camera on for now. Super nice fish. Big old belly on him. Let's let him go. And look how froze over this ice hole is. <laughs> Cold and windy. We were catching a few fish. I actually had to pop the bait off just to get the fish out, but 
Just a little purple and goldy. And that's that second smallest size. There's one, the smallest size I believe is a, a 10. And I think the next one's up is a 17. That's what this is right here in that purple color. So there we go. Nice fish for sure. We just got to string a few more together this afternoon. Dude, how did it not bite? Yeah. Got him. Right there. <laughs> Fish on. Man, did I play with that one for a while. Until he finally bit. Me and Hayes were literally just talking how there's just an absolutely ridiculous amount of fish here there's a nice walleye right there man how many fish are we marking Hayes as many as your heart desires, as many as your heart desires he says and there we go there's a nice windy cold day walleye he's got like a tapeworm thing going on there we go nice fish bouncing back and forth between the the hyper rattle and the old tungsten spoon and uh, that one was actually a little bit hotter kind of darting around the graph but man a lot of these fish just creeping up a couple inches and going back down we're doing kind of the best we can to film some of this afternoon hole hopping in the extreme wind between the crazy cold the snow and the wind it's been an interesting last week of ice season but so we're kind of hoping as we creep into the afternoon evening here they just keep biting a little bit better and a little bit better, but definitely one of the keys is move around, hole to hole to hole to hole. Put your bait in front of as many fish as absolutely possible. Here we go, we're hooked up again. Doesn't feel as big, but it's a fish and I will take it. Not very big. Oh. Not very big at all. Really ate that spoon. It's that tungsten castmaster spoon. Wonder bread color. Not a big fish, but we'll take it. all over me right now dude how are they not biting this is ridiculous got him right there that's gonna be a good one that's gonna be a good fish right there. Man, did we work that one for a while too. Well, as you guys can see, the sun is slowly going down behind me. And man, have we been working for the bites this afternoon. Oh yeah, really nice walleye. Really nice walleye. <laughs> Look at that. Man, when he finally decided to go, he really ate it. And we've been really grinding on them. It's always a little bit mentally draining when all day long you're seeing this many fish. And you just can't quite get them all to go or even a tenth of them to go. Cause man, dude, the amount of fish we're on, pretty crazy for sure. There we go. How does it get any better than that right there? Catching these walleyes late in the day, taking a little bit of work, but making it happen. We'll go ahead and let that guy go. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Just from that split second out of the water, they're icing up, but we got to get back to it because there was just a bunch of them down there. And man, a lot of days come down to this right here where, you know, you kind of spend a long time trying to find fish. Yesterday, fish bit all day long. It was like middle of the day. I could catch a bunch of them. Today, it's much more of a grind, and you guys always kind of like seeing these 
a little bit more difficult fishing videos. I know because a lot of times just the way the videos look when you're doing this every day is that it's just always a smash fest, but not true at all. Plenty of days are a grind. Well, that was kind of our day on the ice. Um, caught some nice fish that afternoon. Definitely had to work through it. It was around an absolute pile of fish. I mean, like marking fish in every other hole you're dropping in, you know, mostly walleyes, obviously, and kind of struggling to get some of those bites to happen. But hey, that's fishing. One day it's crazy good. The day before this, I filmed a video where we just, I was catching fish by myself, like every drop, I was, I was reeling up another walleye. Next day, you're catching like, oh my goodness, Stella, get down, you are insane. Ridiculous. But the day before I was catching a pile of fish, this day was much more working through bites. So I um, appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys kind of want a full length breakdown on these structures we're fishing and where we're setting up, I did one for the previous video, same kind of spots now. On the Walleye Now app, get on there, available at Google Play in the App Store. Click on Let's Go Fish Goodbye page, click on Ice, that thumbnail looks something like this. It does a really good breakdown on these spots. But appreciate you guys watching this one. Fun day on the ice, as always. Stay tuned for more ice fishing content because we're back on the road tomorrow doing some more walleye fishing. And uh, stay tuned for that. Appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are not subscribed, please do that. And see you on the next one.